to welcome back. Um, today I'm going to do two-point perspective. Um, the main difference again with uh, one-point and two-point perspective is that we're going to have two vanishing points on the horizon line. So here I'm going to draw my horizon line. And I'm actually not going to use a ruler, uh, or I'll try not to use ruler when possible, just because uh, I think it's, a, it's good to get in the habit of uh, drawing your lines uh, without that, because it, uh, it's, it's faster. So, and here we go. And again, you're going to see me doing, um, I guess, basically ghosting lines. So basically what I do is, uh, well, first I'm going to draw my vertical. And then I'm going to go from vanishing point one to the top point of that line. And I'm just going to, again, ghost it. I'm not going to draw it in first. I'm just trying to get a feel for it. And once I feel like I've connected, I just lay down the pen and just draw my line. And so you can see me doing that a lot. Uh, I th again, I think it's good practice. Um, you can actually practice on a blank sheet of paper. Just draw two dots um, and just basically try and draw a straight line uh, from the first dot to the second dot. And um, that's pretty much it. So again, you could fill up a whole page just doing that. Uh, but right now, with again, with two-point perspective, I'm doing my verticals, um, finding the depth of the cube. Um, and then again, taking those points back to the vanishing point one. Again, ghosting my line. So I use actually a uh, two-point perspective a lot uh, in my drawings. Um, this is where, again, I can do a three-quarter view and spin uh, whatever I'm drawing around uh, into any position I want. Um, that's why, again, I think two-point perspective is really important to know. Okay, I'm going to take those those points back to the vanishing point. Ghosting my line. And bringing it down. There you go. So again, this uh, this is above the horizon line. So the horizon line is always the the eye level of the viewer. And right here, these two points are not connecting because I think some of my lines weren't straight enough. But that's okay. Um, just keep practicing. Um, that's not a problem. It's okay to make mistakes. I make them all the time. So there is the two-point perspective cube above the horizon line. I'm going to try and do one below the horizon line, too. So I'm going to start out with the edge of the cube. And again, taking those points back to the vanishing point, vanishing point one. I'm lightly ghosting in my lines because I want to make sure they're really as straight as I can get them. And again, taking these points back to the vanishing points from the edge. Ghosting in my lines. There we go. And finding the depth of the cube. Actually, I'll do a tutorial on how to find the depth of the cube. Right now, I'm just guesstimating. Okay, and now I'm taking, again, these points back to the vanish point one. Remember, all verticals are vertical lines, um, and all uh, parallel and perpendicular lines are going to converge to the vanishing points. So right now my lines, I can kind of tell they're a little wonky right now, but that's okay. I'm just going to keep going. And again, draw my lines as straight as I can.
bring that back. That looks like it's connecting pretty well. So there is my cube in two point perspective. I'm gonna darken in the cube so you can guys you guys can see it. And the bottom section. And there we go. Two point perspective.